Hey friends, happy Sunday and happy International Women's Day. So today is the day that we formally celebrate all of the women all around the world. Although we should be celebrating every single day, today we honor and celebrate collectively all around the world. So I do wanna take a moment to shout out to all the beautiful women listening to this message and those that aren't, um, we celebrate you as well. I want to hop on here to tell you a couple of things. One, my intern Zaina has asked me to start vlogging. Apparently people are not reading blogs anymore. And so we are going to try to vlog like V-L-O-G. So we'll see how that goes, but this is my first attempt at that. Um, so you'll be seeing more of that. And two, I am doing the coolest gig by far probably that I have had up until this point. I feel like every single gig has been special in itself, but this one um, is something pretty special and pretty cool. I'm going back to Panama. I'm flying out on Tuesday, and I want you to come along with me because this is gonna be a really cool event. I am going to be the keynote speaker for a week-long seminar in celebration of International Women's Week, uh, Women's Month. <laughs> um celebrating women but the attendants at this week-long seminar are all women who work for the panamanian government and i have been asked to do um this event i'm the keynote speaker for and i will be talking about personal and professional development with an emphasis on empowerment and with that topic one i mean that topic is just one that i absolutely love i have had so much fun putting together the 12 hours of content that I'm gonna be doing for this uh, seminar. But I get to do coaching, like group coaching with this. Um, you guys know that I've been a health coach. I've been practicing for probably about two years now. Um, and it's a topic, although health coaching, although, although I've been certified in health coaching for about two years, I have been in the health industry for 15. And it's just something that's very, very important and special to me. And I get to talk to these wonderful women and celebrate international women's in my home country. Um, after that, I get to celebrate my sister's birthday. Um, so we're looking forward to a trip with that. And then I will be going on my writer's retreat. Uh, I think I teased a little bit about that a few weeks ago, um, but now I'm officially telling you that I will be doing this. So I am going to be away from home for about six weeks. Um, on like an eat, pray, love type journey um, where I get to do a lot of writing and some speaking and um, celebrate women. And so here I am telling you about my vlogging. So I'm gonna um, bring you along with me. So hopefully this will work out. <laughs> um, this is all new to me. So just bear with me as I work through that part of it. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to share in this experience with you and tell you today on International Women's Day. Um, I guess that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day and be on the lookout for more videos. Ciao. I forgot to tell you how this whole trip came about, which I think is one of the coolest things about it. I... The whole, ah, <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm getting tongue twisted. Um, in August, when I was last in Panama for the International Book Fair, the professor Nelva Reyes, who is a wonderful, beautiful woman who does very important work in Panama. She has her own radio segment. Um, she does a lot of women empowerment work um, and supports women. She's very involved in the politics in Panama as well. She was the woman, um, my aunt and her worked together and uh, my aunt invited her to come see me speak. And so anyway, she's the one that ended up introducing me before my 50 minute presentation. And so she ends up um, introducing me and she literally sits next to me. They had set up this couch at the front of the room and she ends up sitting next to me for my entire speech. And at the end of my presentation, she comes up to me and she, tells me about this week long seminar that she does for International Women's Day and that, you know, she wants me to come back and speak. And so a lot of times after I do speaking gigs, people tell me, oh, we want, you know, they invite me to do this thing again, you know, for whatever other event, future event that they have. And, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And so I, 
for whatever reason, I just thought, oh, okay, well, yeah, that's nice. That's awesome. Yeah, we can talk about it later on. But in the back of my mind, I didn't really think too much of it. And um, fast forward to about January, they reach out to me and they were like, well, what's your topic, you know, if, if we do do this? And I pitched them my topic and I send them the list of bullet points. I really wanted to do something different once I learned a little bit more about what the seminar is about and the other speakers and what they've done in the past. And so I put together this whole thing, sent it off, still thinking in my head, like, eh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And a couple of weeks later the, you know, they talked, um, they came back to me and they were like, well, what's it gonna take for you to come back? And we negotiated some terms and long story short, this thing came about. I tell you all that to say that I am incredibly blessed because this whole six week event has come together fairly quickly. Um, I probably knew about this like towards the end, last few days of January. And it is just, I have been so excited ever since. <laughs> but I did not consciously ask for this. Um, oh my goodness, I dropped my phone. This just came about. And one of the neatest things about it is that I have been, I believe in prayer, and I have been praying very, um, very much about being led to do important work um, and being led to be doing what I need to be doing. And this entire thing, I fully believe that has manifested based on letting go and just having full faith in the process. Um, so I wanted to share that piece with you because I am going into this week, which is going to be intense. I mean, I've got long days ahead of me this week, like I think 12 hour days, um, starting Tuesday. And I'm excited about it because although I didn't consciously exactly say I want to have, you know, I want to be a keynote speaker at and women's conference and, you know, be an international speaker. I didn't particularly ask for this. It's playing out the way that it needs to be. And I have full faith in it that I am truly at peace with what this week brings. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you. Happy Sunday. <laughs>